Hello, welcome to Lil's Winter World, welcome to another vlog. Um, what is my hair doing today? <laughs> I don't know, I need to sort that out. Um, today I am off to English Heritage today, but it's actually something a bit different because it's just me and pup. No one else, no fiance, no family members, no, nothing, just me and pup. I'm a little bit nervous because I've never done this before. Um, just before lockdown, I was planning on me and pup going to a National Trust by ourselves then lockdown happened and it didn't happen um but because it's my birthday I'm like no I want to have lots of days doing stuff and so I booked the week off work and I was like I'm gonna do it I'm gonna do it so so I'm just going to get ready and pack the bag and I will meet you there we are going to Whitley Court and Gardens today which will be very very nice it's another place that um is ruins but was once spectacular and I think it's one of those places where you can, although obviously you can't see what it looks like, it's one of those places where you can really get the feeling of what it was like in its heyday sort of thing. So, I will meet you there. So I have arrived at Whitley Court and um, got my rain mac on just in case. And to be honest, I don't really know where I'm going. Oh, hold on. There we are. Um, shall we go? I don't know, I quite fancy the lake sidewalk. Might go and do the lake sidewalk first and then do the actual court itself. So let's go this way, pup. I've put my I put on my comfy trousers and my wellies just in case. <laughs> um, it kind of tips it down. I've got a backpack full of stuff as well. Um, but yeah, I was in a bit of a tiz driving. I think I went wrong <laughs> quite a bit, but it's fine, it's fine. So yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this walk now. It looks stunning. Look at this wonderful rhododendron, which obviously has gone over now, because it is not that time, but um, it's beautiful, it's stunning. And um, yeah, I'm so happy. Oh, what's over here, pup? Wildlife garden. Attracting nature. Oh, this is nice. So just an area where like frogs and newts and stuff. has got a little pond there. That's lovely. Wow. Look at that view. I mean, I feel so lucky to live in such a beautiful area. Pup's very happy too. I did that lovely view, showed you, oh, I love where I live, and then just didn't bother turning around. <laughs> Look at that. So just got to the court, I found one of these. Also found a doggy bowl. Oh, good boy, Pat. So planning my day, we're here. I did start over here, I think, somewhere around there. So yeah, let's go and um, let's go explore. So I'm just quite close to the ruins now and they've got this uh, bit where it talks to you about, about the house. So, this was second Earl, I believe, with his mother, brothers, sisters, and then a bit about the house and where it came from. Um, money came from coal, and its heyday was the Victorian period. But look at that beautiful. Look at the beautiful detail. 
above the windows. That's still spies. Stunning. Speaking of detail, look at this. Reminds me of um, Harry Potter, you know, the mirror. <laughs> so this was the entrance hall. What it was like, what it is now. It's heartbreaking, really. Huge room. I like how they've tried to save as much detail as possible. Like the wood. Although someone has clearly graffitied it over time and that's not nice. Great stairs. Oh, so you would have gone up and then through there, I guess. Oh, look. That's cool, I haven't survived. I find you really have to use your imagination when you come places like this. It's like a then. And now, this is what's left. This is what it was, but look how beautiful it was, like this double height room. And the, another then and now for you, this is the ballroom, the most splendid room in the house, decorated in Louis the 15th style. Just beautiful, look at the high ceilings, look how high they are. Obviously it's got those beams in now, but look how high it was and just the space in here to dance. It's magnificent. Such a shame, isn't it? But, oh, can you imagine the amount of parties and balls they've had in here? How many toes got squashed? <laughs> How many drunk people there were? Um, yeah, nothing survived. The fly was quite bad in here. Then we have the dining room. It's a lot less grand since we've just been into the ballroom. <laughs> so this was quite an intimate place. The kitchen's directly below. Um, the laundry stuff. Oh my goodness. I've just realised I've been going all wrong as well because they take you to the next one. But this is what I have to show you. Ready? Look at that. That is... Ridiculous. Imagine like, invite someone to a party, like this is my house, yeah, 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 but this is my garden. Are you taking the mick? Like, I'd quite happily live in this ruin just to have this garden. Thank you very much. Although it is obviously ruins, there's still a few little nuggets that's left. Look at this fireplace. Beautiful. it's one of those places that is so impressive and then it's like it's madness it's honestly madness because you see the gardens and then you, just from the gardens you know that this was a place that was literally fit for royal parties <laughs> so here we go looking back at the development of what we caught so this is where it started the Jacobean house and then into the Century, the John Nash House, and then the Victorian Transformation, which obviously is that, but obviously that is the ruins that's left of it. 
with the most impressive fountain ever. Bonkers. And also, the gardens are stunning. English Heritage do an amazing job of keeping us up. I love all these, but I need to learn more, don't we? So this bit, which I showed you around with all the wonderful lavender. Oh, Belle, which is behind there. So this is it, this is the conservatory and this is what it would have looked like. So actually it's still relatively there, apart from obviously the roof is there and then these would have all been glass. So imagine that glass and then beautiful glass roof, like a proper conservatory, that would have looked absolutely spectacular. And then look, these people in there, oh my gosh look at their clothes, it's amazing. And there's some children in there as well. I need to learn more about this place because it's a spectacular. And then it has the most wonderful spiral stairs, this side and this side. I just can't get over it. And then Pup went and sat on the bench up there and it was like the perfect place to sit and watch the world go by. I was getting so swept away with the beautiful fountain that I didn't see this. Look at this, beautiful stones, topiary and lavender. And there's so many bees in it, they love lavender here. It's very good for the bees. It's stunning. It's really, really stunningly beautiful. But that looks amazing from up high up there. But that would look incredible. So here is this beautiful garden. This is the original. Stunning. This was the original design. And apparently, just been reading there, so this is from the 1850s, this is Victorian. It's meant to be viewed above. So from up there, there's all the lavish bedrooms. It's got a little balcony there. And these little balconies too. And then from up there, you would have seen, boom. Incredible. Let's go look at the beautiful flowers. So as beautiful as the house and gardens are, I've torn myself away. I'm going to do the woodland walk. I say we, I'll be doing the woodland walk. I'm trundling along because of course this is his day too. So yeah, it's so far, it's beautiful. It's so stunning. There's rhododendrons everywhere, big, very sturdy trees that have been here very clearly under the years. I mean, look how this is naturally just amazing. Yeah, let's explore. And just like that, the day is done and I am home. And I picked myself up a copy of the guidebook. Um, I'm gonna read that this afternoon and just learn more about the court and what it would have been like and the people that would have lived there. I think that'd be really fun. But I hope you enjoyed coming around Waitley Court with me. Uh, I look forward to chatting to you in the comments and I shall see you soon for the next video. Bye for now.